it was a grind out. Um, we didn't have our stuff. Um, we didn't do a lot of things right. Um, a lot of things didn't go our way. And we just hung in there and won the game. That's what that was. And then what was your uh, point of view on James's flavoring? <laughs> I didn't think they didn't wear anything, but the, they called them. And, you know, listen, I told our guys, you could see it early on, there's a lot of extracurricular activity going on our way. Uh, but you're up 2-0. You know, what do you expect? And we got to play through it. We got we to gotta knock out the di distractions. And I thought we, in the second half, kind of did that. Uh, but it's a, it's a good lesson for us because there were so many – guys struggling and, and to me getting inside themselves instead of just grind just hang around that's all i kept saying just hang around get out of your heads i, I use the whole time out to me get out of our heads and i thought we did that um down the stretch uh executed down the stretch um got great shots moved the ball play right what'd you think of the way tyrese was able to come up for you down the stretch oh it's huge i don't think he scored until three is going to the yeah, you know, he was one of them. I, I thought, honestly, all of them, just for whatever, the game wasn't going right, and a lot of guys got in got in their heads, and he, he's in that group. Um, but he's a tough kid. He hung in there. We drew up the play for him with Joel coming out the timeout, and he wanted that shot. Yeah, like, he wanted that shot, and that was great to see. How much do you think P.J. Tucker had impact on the other P.J. Tucker won the game for us. He, he did. He, he kept – Everything alive. He, he rebounded. He defended. Um, I was lost my mind with him today because he's in the locker room. You know, he had some kind of neck thing. And three different times I'm yelling for PJ. There was no PJ. Uh, no Joel for a stretch. You know, we got guys in the back. Uh, but he was great. I mean, it's, it's amazing how, you know, we, we focus so much on scoring. And obviously, PJ's going to keep taking those shots and he's going to have games where he makes them. And he's going to have games where he doesn't. And we keep telling him we don't care. Just keep shooting them and keep playing. And that's just a great example. Of a guy that doesn't score how much of an impact he can have on your team. He was huge. He was the toughest guy on the floor tonight. Doc, he really was. What do you think um, What do you see from Joel tonight? What do you think Joel played? I didn't think any of us played well tonight. Uh, I think we won the game. And that's why it's a we. And that's what I told him uh, after the game. This, is this wasn't a team win? There's no such thing. Because there was really no one other than P.J., in my opinion, that really had a, a really good basketball game for us. Um, but what we didn't do is go away. We could have easily gone away from this game, and, and we didn't do that. And to me, that, that says a lot about the character of this team. After James was out, D'Anthony stepped in in a bigger way than yeah. anyone might have expected. What do you think of, the, of his poise and I'm always good when, when DeAnthony comes on the floor. I, I just really am. Uh, he just makes plays. Uh, it, it's the damnedest thing. Like, he, there's certain people in the league that if there's a loose ball, he's always around it somehow. I mean, it just works out that way for him. Um, it was laugh, we were laughing because he dunked the ball, which I thought was the right play, you know, and then he asked me, should I have dunked? And I said, yeah, yeah. it puts us up five. You know, I, I think they were struggling with their math. At, at that point, but uh, I mean, my God, Joel was like, don't, don't, I'm like, are you kidding me? You're up five. What are you thinking about? So anyway, that was a funny thing for us. Even after the game, they're still talking about, which I was even more amazed. Uh, but he's just, he's just a solid player for us. Coach, game three is on the road. When you're up too low, you kind of mentioned the human nature part yeah. of it. Is there anything you learn about your team when you come out and make Yeah, the yeah, there's things. I mean, obviously, composure is, is one of them. Um, you know, uh, play through the the clutter. I didn't. I, I thought we struggled with it early, um, but after that, I thought we were good. I never looked up. I swear to God, I didn't want to look up. I, I, I to this point, I've yet to see it. Uh, the game was not going well, and so I'm not superstitious. But I swear, if you want, I never looked up. I never. I haven't seen it yet because I thought the way this thing is going. Anything can happen. After this temper flare, what do you say to him and to the team? Just keep our head. I kept saying that to our guys, you know, um, because that's what they, they, they're going to do, and, and you have to play through it, you know. Um, you know, I don't like it, you know. Uh, guys do things, and then if you react, you get the penalty.